obviously times are tough here in state government. Budgets have had to be cut. And ever since I came into office three years ago, we found some big multi-million projects and multi-million opportunities for cost cutting, and that's really important. But uh, this reminds me of when I was a little girl, uh, my mom used to have the Saturday morning assignment for my sister and me was to go pick up the seat cushions and look under every seat cushion to see what change had fallen out in the, in the sofas. And put the money, whether they were quarters or nickels and dimes, into a jar. And you all have done similar things, I hope. All of a sudden, one day, the jar is full of change. And that's exactly what we're doing, except I'm here to talk about a little bit more than chump change today. Just a few minutes ago, what we did, I did, I issued a moratorium on the purchase of any more non-critical supplies in our department. And let me tell you what that means in cold hard savings. We are expecting that we will reduce our supplies event, uh, our supplies expense in this fiscal year by 30% over last year, which for us is $200,000. And I want to call on, and I am calling on the rest of state government to follow suit. So I'm going to communicate the way we did it and what we've done to all the other state government agencies. Because, think about this, we went back and looked. The legislature has a new transparency website. Last year, state government spent $47 million on supplies. And if everybody else would cut the same 30% that we've cut, we could save $14 million for the people of Florida. Think about how many school teachers that is. Just think about it. And that's why we're here to make a difference. We've got enough paper clips. We sure have enough binders. We're going to start sharing with each other, but we'll share with any other state agency that uh, wants to share with us as well, because I guarantee you we've got multiple years of supplies right here represented behind us.